Thank you for asking me to give a presentation here. Let me introduce myself. My name is Ogawa Shigeo, and I am working for NTT, Nippon Telegraph and, Teleco uh, Telegraph and Telephone Company. I will be uh, studying a uh, waste heat utilization system using solid oxide fuel cell, SLFC. I am going to talk about the structure of the next generation energy system entitled Dynamical Fuel Cells, Spectrum is the Catalytic and Fuel Cell Technologies. One of you, big earthquakes and tsunami attacked uh, eastern Japan in March 11th, uh, followed by serious nuclear accidents in the Fukushima Daiichi power plants, including three times hydrogen explosions. Four and six reactors were seriously damaged, and the vast area of eastern Japan was highly contaminated by radioactive substances. After the Fukushima nuclear disaster, Japanese Prime Minister Naoto Kan requested the Chu Electric Power Company to shut down all the active reactors at the Hamaoka nuclear power plant. But this Kan's decision was made without any legal basis nor clear standards. This political performance was good for preventing, preventing potential nuclear accidents from occurring and inflicting further damages on Tokai area, but it has a serious side effect. At first, the energy crisis was only limited in the east area of Japan. However, this husky action has caused serious energy crisis in the whole area of Japan. The influence of energy crisis is severe in western Japan because the nuclear power actually accounts for more than 40% of the total generation electricity in that area. At present, 35 reactors of total, uh, 54 nuclear reactors, had already shut down. Some were due to the accident directly, others due to regular inspections or some troubles. In 12 months, all nuclear power plants in Japan are going to be shut down since it will be politically difficult to restart these plants. Therefore, the whole Japan is facing with a serious energy crisis. Someone says that there will be no electricity shortage because it is possible to compensate for the drop of electricity generation by restarting inactive thermal power plants. In terms of the capacity, this opinion is correct. But this is the setback of the nuclear energy policy which has been promoted by the Japanese government after the oil shocks in the 1970s. Originally, the Japanese government started to promote nuclear power generation to deal with the possibility of oil supply crisis. Same of the 1970s situation, operating many thermal plants accelerates the exhaustion of fossil resources and rises the energy price. Increase of energy price affects lots of countries this is not a sustainable scheme. This figure shows annual energy production. Available supply has been rising with each decade and then reached about twice of 1980s in 2005. The ratio of nuclear power generation was only 17% of the total annual energy production in 1980s. From this figure, it turns out, out that oil-fired thermal power has been continuously decreasing. Instead, nuclear and gas-fired power has been rising up to about twice of 1980 to compensate for the reduction of oil-fired thermal power. This chart shows the nuclear reactor decommissioning plan, which was originally proposed before the Fukushima nuclear disaster. Although the average nuclear plant lifespan is designed to about 20 to 30 years, recently advocates of nuclear power plant have extended it to 40 years. According to the line A, the 40 years life scheme, all the existing nuclear power plants are going to be gradually decommissioned by 2055. 
However, the Fukushima nuclear disaster will accelerate that commissioning schedule and prevent the advocates from building any new nuclear power plant. As a result, we are now facing with a serious energy crisis because all of the existing nuclear power plants will be shut down in a year. Is it possible to return to the thermal power generation? To answer this question, let's look at the total energy consumption in Japan. Japanese average energy consumption is 500 million barrels of petrol equipment per year. This amount is the fourth largest in the world. Japan imports 85% of its energy resources from foreign countries. Almost all the imported energy consists of fossil fuels such as coal, petrol, and natural gas. The energy import dependencies of the world leading economies are listed in the left figure. The figure shows that Japan is one of the two countries with the highest dependence on imports, and the other is Korea. Without nuclear power, the dependence rate reaches 96%. In other words, Japan's energy self subsistence ratio is only 4%. The right figure shows privately owned electrical power facilities around Japan focused too much on the thermal power stations. These facilities would turn out to be able to compensate the electrical shortage after all nuclear power stations would be shut down. However, this also implies that Japan will be going to consume a substantial percentage of its foreign currency results to obtain fossil fuels for these thermal power stations. Here I'm going to show you a quick overview of the world's reserves statics. Ah, excuse me, world, uh, world, uh, here I'm going to show you a quick overview of the world reserves statistics. World energy consumption is estimated to be about 10 billion tons of petroleum equivalent to per year. Its breaks down is as follows. Petroleum accounts for about 40%, coal 25%, and natural gas 20%. Result production ratio of fossil resources are estimated to be about 30 to 40 years for petroleum, about 50 to 200 years for coal, and about 60 years for natural gas. Here, this final estimate accounts for the conventional gas only. If the annual growth rate of consumption would be from 2 to 5 percent, the nominal reserve production ratio of 200 years will be reduced to one third, that is about 70 years, or one fourth, that is about 50 years. As shown in the previous sheet, the exhaustion of fossil resources and the brisk demand for the dam are causing the rapid rise in fuel price, being followed by subsequent rise in electric cost and gas charge in Japan. In this summer, many energy-related companies are going to raise the price by about 100 yen. This is because it became hard to obtain petroleum at a reasonable price since the largest accidental oil spill in the Gulf of Mexico occurred last year. Is it possible to replace nuclear energy with renewable energy? Here, renewable energy means unstable power stations such as solar power and wind power. After the Fukushima nuclear disaster, the renewable energy gained much attention as a possible alternative to nuclear energy. However, it is not practical in Japan. As mentioned above, the renewable energy con contributes only a few percent to total power supply in Japan. Photovoltaic power generation is strongly dependent on the weather, so its power supply is not stable. In addition, it requires large area to be installed. Japan lacks appropriate locations to construct photovoltaic power stations because of narrow land and a limited amount of sunlight, especially in the northern area of Japan. Photovoltaic power generation is suitable for low-latitude desert regions where there are large areas to install and good sunshine conditions. 
On the other hand, wind power station requires steady wind speed of more than 5 meters per second. Such a steady wind is only for that offshore area in Japan. Is it possible to replace nuclear station by solar station? Generally speaking, a typical nuclear power plant generates about 1 million kilowatts hours. To generate, the, to generate the same amount of electricity, the same area as the area within Yamanote line must be paved with solar panels, which is about 69 square kilometers. Therefore, total 50 million kilowatt hour equivalent to the generating capacity of 54 nuclear reactors requires the same area as that of Edrof Island, which is about 3,186 square kilometers. In a similar way, to put windmills into practical use, a huge area about three times as large as that of Edrof Island will be 